All right, YouTubers, I wanna make a quick little video about food. I'm gonna show you some food at the end, but I'm gonna talk about food at the beginning. Um, there's a few people that follow along and seem to like my cooking videos. And I just wanted to say they're gonna change a little bit, but not totally. I have been dabbling with vegan eating for a while now and not very good vegan stuff because I don't know what I'm doing. So I buy something prepackaged and fake meat, pretend to be meat. And I got some videos coming up that's gonna be actual vegan cooking. And I know right off the bat, half the people are gonna be like, I'm not eating that junk. I, I eat meat, like real men eat meat. Well, real men don't have to have heart disease and triglyceride problems and all that good stuff. And the important part is, I think a lot of the people that do watch take my word for it when I make something that tastes good. And I think so many people, because it happened to me, would be thoroughly shocked on how good vegan food can taste when you eat it from somebody that knows what they're doing, when you eat vegan food cooked by somebody who understands it. And that's what these videos are gonna be. And that's what my intention is to keep doing some of that. Now, if you're like a true blue vegan and you call the vegan police whenever you see anything close to wrong, you might be disappointed at times, but most of the meals will be vegan. And sometimes I might sneak in cheese or whatever now and then when I don't have fake vegan cheese. But, but I really hope that some people that watch along will just give a couple of these a try to watch and say, huh, Maybe it's not as bad as I think, because that's what happened to me. I started eating some of this food that was cooked for me. I was pretty skeptical, and I just literally couldn't get over how good most of this stuff tasted. And then going, well, it's also better for me. And I tend to be a hypocrite. You know, I don't like the factory farming and what we do to animals. It's pretty cruel. If you watch any of those documentaries, on how those animals are treated, it's pretty cruel. So there's the added benefit of that, of not doing as much of that. Now, that said, at heart, I know I'm a carnivore, so there will be meals that are regular, normal, what we're all used to meals as well. So I'm back in Ohio, I'm getting ready to go back to the UP, and the videos I'm talking about are upcoming and there'll probably be more because I'm gonna eat some more good vegan cooking and at the end of this I'm gonna show you just some pictures of some stuff I ate and it, it was really amazing but I have I have dealt with uh, cholesterol and triglyceride issues um, for a while like most Americans because our diet is not very good for the most part and I recently when I came back I went to the doctor I had my blood checked and all that stuff and I did pretty much all but a couple meals. I did a month of pretty much all vegan meals. And I, I got my labs back, went and talked to the doctor and I could compare my old labs from like last summer, the year before 2020 and this year. And just a month of the vegan stuff was amazing. The drops that my cholesterol levels and triglycerides took was pretty impressive. And again, if it tasted like junk, I wouldn't do it. Because, again, if you followed along, I like food, I like the taste of food, and there's some things that I don't want to sacrifice in life, and one of those is food. I enjoy food. But I'm telling you, this vegan stuff, when done right, is far better than most people realize. I think there's some meals that'll be in upcoming videos that if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. And there's some things that are fake that tasted better than some things I've had that are real. Seriously. It's amazing what a cashew can do. What you can do with a cashew is pretty amazing. So I came back, I had my blood levels checked and things were much better. I was I was higher end of okay. I was in a good range before that, but now my numbers are like 
amazing. I still take a statin, again, like the majority of Americans take. And that said, there are times, you know, you can't fake a London broil. There's going to be a London broil video coming up for those that don't want to make the transition with me. And there might be some people that just close their mind to it and think they want nothing to do with it. I, I can't help you, but for those of you that are interested, and maybe some new people that enjoy the vegan stuff might enjoy some vegan cooking recipes. So there's that. I'm also still in full hippie mode. I was going to get it cut off, but I'm going to give it a little bit longer. It's growing on me. Ha! <laughs> oh, God. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, my health is better. I feel better. The food tastes just as good. It really does. And some meals have been spectacular. Um, helping with a little bit of the cruel stuff we do to animals. Again, hypocrite. I i don't want to go kill an animal myself, but I'll go to the grocery store without any problems. So you feel a little bit better that, wow, this tastes just as good. And if you get all environmental, they say that eating vegan is good for the environment or whatever. You got that thrown in there as well. Um, it just takes, it takes learning a new way of cooking stuff. And I think what has made the vegan stuff so good, in my opinion, is I've always liked vegetables. There's only a couple I don't like, so vegetables are good. But because you don't have that standard, here's your, as vegans would say, here's your protein, here's your steak, your chicken, your fish, since you don't have that, you use a lot more spices and combinations of flavors and seasonings, and it's excellent. So that long ramble is done. I'm gonna stick a few um, pictures of a couple meals in here. No explanation, I'll probably talk over it when I edit it. And I'm packing up and getting ready to go on another RV trip one of these days. And again, um, I'm still, I don't know when this will get posted. I might already be there. Heck, I might be on my way back before I get this done because I'm still working on videos, but I'm going to intermix things together. So you, you might see one video one day when I was up there in summer in the UP, and the next video might be fall colors if I get lucky and get some good fall colors. So I don't know what's coming, but I hope you enjoy. And I hope those of you that sometimes wonder if vegan food might be all right maybe give a couple videos a chance you never know you might like it and for those of you that that just refuse to i don't know when it comes to food there's not much i won't try again i like food so i always think it's good to give things a try and if you ever have an opportunity to go to like Burger King and get the Impossible Whopper instead of the Beef Whopper, I think many of you would be surprised. I actually think it tastes better than the regular Whopper. Now, does it taste as good as going to a fancy place that's doing Kobe beef hamburgers? No, no. But it tastes better than a fast food burger. So that's that. And now, some pictures of some stuff. I hope you enjoy. First up, a vegan pizza. And me being a New Yorker, I'm kind of a pizza snob, but this was darn good. Had vegan cheese as well. Now, it's not as good as a New York slice, but it's better than anything that gets delivered to your house. And that crust was New York-style pizza crust recipe that was followed. And those are beets that actually worked. As a city kid, I got to go with crushed peppers. Next, we're going to do fake meat gyros, and that is real homemade pita bread. Those are the veggies that are going to go in it. Tzatziki sauce is good as any, and it's vegan. Heck, better than most. And look at the pocket. Nicely made bread. So good. This was spectacular. I'm going to have a whole recipe video of this at some time in the future. And here, I'll let you see the pitas being made. Oh, it's puffing up. Pita bread. Puffing up. I'm told you gotta pat them like that. Big important comfort. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I see that will start to puff up. It'll be beautiful. The bread really was great, and the fake meat cut thinly. 
tasted fantastic and you stuff it with all the good stuff that goes in it and that better than normal tzatziki sauce, this is a great, great meal. Hope you enjoyed and have a great and wonderful day.